I was walking to my first class, a history class I believe, when I saw a strange shaped object in the sky. It flew real low right up to the library. Then it used some kind of magic laser thingy to change the name of the library from just plain library to Bear Snug Library. I just figured they were claiming it for the planet Bear Snug. Kirkwood later claimed that the library's name had never been called the Bear Snug Library and Learning Commons. Kirkwood can lie like a dog, but we all saw it and it said Bear Snug. Personally, I think Kirkwood rearranged the letters so it would not spell Bear Snug. But why did Kirkwood want to keep this close encounter with the library a secret? Then the Bersnuggians flew out to the baseball field and zapped the Kirkwood wind turbine. Its rotor blades stopped turning. That wind turbine would never turn again. Look, the wind turbine stopped moving. Kirkwood would later claim that the wind turbine was permanently broken, and in the summer of 2024, Kirkwood had the turbine removed from their Cedar Rapids campus entirely. Big machines come in and knock down the turbine. It's as though the thing never existed. With the turbine deactivated, the aliens went after the students. But then these creatures popped up from the baseball field. I don't know how to describe them. They look like humans with cheap Dollar Tree birthday masks on. stunned me with some kind of magic laser that came out of its finger strike. I figured I was going to be taken to a, a human zoo or on a bird snack. circle at the entrance of Kirkwood. I guess these aliens ain't from space. Seems like they have lived at Kirkwood all along. Kirkwood has denied all the preceding incidents, but how can Kirkwood deny what witnesses saw with their own eyes? Why does Kirkwood want the Samuel J. Kirkwood incident and the statue to remain forever a mystery? Kylie Doss with Kirkwood Community College Unsolved Mysteries. Just get in closer because you'll need the audio. Where's our director? 